Hello, 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 green inky people. I am here with a share of the coloring books that are new to me for July, this July. And these are the books I'll probably be working with in the fall. In the fall. And some of these are new formats to me, and so I definitely wanted to get into them. This one is the international version of a World Wildlife Fund um, fundraising book, and it is called Treasured Alps, Threatened Alps. And the imagery is by Claire Scully. It's one of two books uh, by this uh, artist. This is Metallic Sheen. This is an 11 and a half by 11 and a half. And there are a multilingual um, sections for each, which I thought was cool. Um, and the pictures are um, threatened species in the Alps. There are some fold outs in here. B. Let's see if I can get to a fold out. There are a couple of different versions of this book with the pictures in different orders and some of the. There's the links. Some of the. Um, fold outs. Are, there's a butterfly. I'm really, I'm at the max zoom and the max heron. There's a grouse. Ula. Kingfisher. I mean, these are great. I also have plants. Boogs. It's a boog. Bat. Things you don't normally see. Snack. Bumblebee. Lizard. Salamander. More bug. I love that it has bugs. Snail. Snails, slugs, slugs, snails, speeder. There's an otter. You know, it looks like I was wrong. There are no fold outs in this book. It must be in the other piece by Claire Scully. So I'll do that one next. That's pretty. So, there we go. Let me dig the second one out. All right, this one, smaller format, is a Nordic book. And this one's nine and a half square. No, nine and a half by 10. But not quite square. So this one's from 2016. A duck pebble, double sided. Some uh, 
snowflakes, and a landscape. Lots of details. Whale, whale's tail, a bear and feet. So there's lots of feathers in here if you like feathers. It's a double span on the owl. Wolves. Eagle and some feathers. Some kind of animal. I don't remember. And we have otters. That's very cool. And some of them are highly detailed with the lines and some are uh, open for interpretation. So that is it's a nice mix of very detailed. That's a beautiful double landscape. And then we have a moose elk. What is Oh, what do we got over here? Ah, king of the sea. It's a panoramic triple. Bear with a compass. Rose. Pish. Ferns. Leaves, mushrooms, beautiful landscapes. I'm really excited. Ula. The hair. And then this round landscape. Feathers. Let's get something. A horse, Nordic pony, or owls. Owls are my fave. Mm, beaver, birch trees with a bird. Leaves, mushrooms, fun mushrooms, beautiful owl, bust. See, there's like everything an owl lover could want in this book. Uh, is this a weasel or something? Um, an underwater scene? Very cool. Snick. I was trying to figure out what I would do for the background. I think it would be have to be something that was. I'd have to like draw in a forest floor or something for that. Mushrooms. Another beautiful Nordic scape. Is, these two books are going to be so all-encompassing. More Ulas. Just fantastic. Close up on a lynx. I'm not sure what this is. It's, I don't know. Antlers, just by themselves. Shed antlers. More snow crystals, ice crystals, northern lights, fold out, that would be fun, colorful, pine branch, we have 
a wing and a bird of prey. And this is some brush. Brush. It's brush. And we end with a wolf. Fantastic. Okay, so those are two clear Scully books. Next, also a new format for me, is a uh, Pictura foldout. This is the Nature one by Helen Ward. And so these puppies fold out and they're contiguous images, or you can just work on one panel. So we have some birds, frog, hare, like all the animals, salamander, more birds, swallows, dormouse, and we've got snails. Fox, uh, grouse, flutterbys, lots of leaves and mushrooms. And we have heart, deer, hind, and a snowy owl. And on the back are just uh, little sketches by season. So, I'm pretty excited. So, cool. Oops. There. Color nature panel. Um, next, I've already marked a page to do in this, is Daydreams by Hannah Carlson. Let's just see what page was that I marked to do. Oh, the dedicated page. The last page was the page I'm going to start on. I, I like to do the last page or the first page in books first. It lets me see what is up with the paper and what I can put it through water wise marker wise whatever I choose to use in a particular book this book you there are full flips I just want to show you some things that the collections pages really caught my eye I think there's a few collection type pages in this book Collection of fish. You can kind of imagine working on a collection of shells. Different te techniques repeatedly. Shrooms. So the collection pages really got me. Bugs. Sort of collection. These are just very cool. More bugs. Bugs are like so diverse. They can capture your imagination, capture your eye. Two more. Don't go. All right. This is the Saga Fire and Water book, and it is by 
Chinthaka Hera. Hereth? Hereth. I saw Hera, like the Greek goddess. What did I mark as my first picture in this book? Ah, first page. <laughs> Let's see what the last page is. A rose maiden. That would be pretty to color too. So, this book is very fantasy forward, very femme forward. So that's the cover shot right there. Very cool underwater. For a while on the shore. So oh, that's the saga fire and water. And the last book is the Wildlife Wonders from Millie Mariota. I've got two marked in this one. Let's see what they are. First thing I do when I get a book is pick. So I picked a kind of like a mandala that looks to me to be kind of coral and seahorsey. And the Ula. Uh, this is a nice mix of kind of mandalas and zentangles and There's the B. Gecko. Rooster. These look very fun. So, those are the books that I added to my collection in July. Be happy, be healthy, learn something new every day. This is me signing out. Ciao for now. Thanks for watching.